What's up, everyone? This is Eric, KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and follow along. A lot of stuff coming. Got to stay subscribed to stay tuned to get instant alerts. Like on Facebook as well for uh, updates on things that's going on. I'm going to, we just did a video on the X5105 in the back here, which is uh, getting some more videos here soon. But I'm going to go back to the RS918, which is a clone of the MCHF. Um, a big shout out to the uh, moderators and everyone on QRZ that um, took down my videos and threatened to ban me for posting such material. Uh, thank you for your concerns. And um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to show an update firmware process, updating the bootloader and the firmware of this device because firmware fixes a lot of different things. Um, the firmware material is online. The Source for this software is open source from the developer of the MCHF. So all this stuff is online. The uh, bootloaders and everything is all open source. And uh, anybody has the ability to, I guess, modify it if they want to. Now, what you're going to need for this is your radio plugged in with plenty of power. If you're using a battery, make sure this does not shut off in the middle of this process. You're going to want a USB stick, memory stick. Now, this is an 8 gig. You do not need an 8 gig. You can get away with a 512 meg. It's very a, a really a small file, but um, you're going to need this and also the USB cable that you would plug into the ra the uh, computer. Now I'm doing this on Windows 10. Yes, it will work on Windows 10. Yes, this device does detect on Windows 10. I know I've had a lot of people that say it's not working on Windows 10, but it is. So let me go through and show you what the software is that you need to download. All the links are available below this video. That's right below what you're watching below the video in the description. A lot of people always ask, where is the info? It's in the description. So uh, go there and download, follow along. I'll show you the process. It really is super easy. Uh, a big shout out to Daniel B who follows me on Facebook and walked me through uh, getting the proper bootloader and firmware to get this up to date uh, on the device. Thank you for his help. And um, this should sum it up for you. So let me show you online the uh, software you need first. All right, so if you clicked on the link for the software in the description, here's the first thing you need. Now, I call this Diffuse. That's what it looks like, D-F-U-S-E. Um, it's a, a USB device firmware upgrade extension. So basically, when you go to this site, you want to go down here and find this for, uh, version here, and, and it may change as they update, but you're looking for this here. The uh, software version currently is 3.0.5. You're going to download the software and install it. And the software looks like this. And you're going to see this here in a few minutes on the video, what, I, what to do on here. So that's the first thing. You need to get the software. Then in the link below this in the video, you're going to get to the project page, the UHSDR. And um, this here will show you, I, I guess this is the main when they update the bleeding edge firmware and bootloader. This was updated the 2nd of September uh, September for the firmware. So yesterday this was updated and the bootloader was on uh, August 19th. So 3.4.1 bootloader. When you click on the firmware, it's going to take you to a page and you're going to want to get an MCHF folder here. You want to download, this is for the DFU method, the USB, and this is the bin for the um, USB stick. So the bin is what you're going to use in this video, doing it with the USB memory stick in the port on the device. You're going to want the bin. If you're choosing to do it over the USB cable process, the DFU is what you want. So download the bin, put it in a folder that you know where it's at, because then you're going to plug in your USB uh, stick to your computer, and you're going to format it FAT32 and put this file in the root of the USB drive, right in the beginning labeled and named just the way it is. You're not going to change the name, and that's the firmware. Uh, all the documentation online for doing this is also in the link below, and it shows you different methods. Using USB drive, using USB cable for DFU upload. Uh, so it, it walks you through it here, but I'm trying to make it easy for you in the video. Uh, but the instructions and all the pages I just showed you are here in the video in the description below. Now for the bootloader update process with the USB cable plugged in to the USB port on the radio, you're going to hold the band plus and you're going to hold the power. 
when it comes on, after two seconds, you're going to let go of the band plus, but you have to keep the power button held down this entire time. So free up both hands. If you're right-handed with the mouse, do this in your left hand. Hold the power button the entire time while you're uploading the bootloader. If you let go of the power in the middle of the bootloader flash, you're going to temporarily brick your device. But I did it the first time here, no problem. Just make sure your radio stays plugged in and you got your finger on that. And, uh, you know, check and double check. You got everything ready before you do this. And uh, this is what it will do on the screen. When I do this process, holding the band plus and the power, you'll see that on the screen, it detected STM device in DFU mode. And I'll see some sectors here. So it's safe to assume that it's seeing the radio. Now, if I go to choose, you're going to first if you're doing the bootloader first, you're going to choose the bootloader. If you downloaded the bootloader and the firmware, you got to do the bootloader first. And it's going to ask, do you already, it already exists, do you want to replace it? Hit yes. Now at this point, I chose the button upload because in the manual online, the wiki says don't choose upload, choose upgrade. But my upgrade won't light up. You want to make sure verify after download is checked. And I chose upload. I'm going to do it right now for you. So this is plugged in DFU mode. Yes, continue. Yes. There goes the bootloader. It is done. At this point, I can let go of the power button and hit quit. Now at this point, the bootloader is in. It's successful. Now I have my USB drive in the host port. And it's formatted FAT32. No XFAT or NTFS, just FAT32. Root, nothing in it. You're going to drop the firmware bin, firmware.bin file, because when you download it, there's a firmware.dfu uh, for the USB cable mode and a firmware.bin for the USB host. Now, apparently you can do them both with the USB cord, but I had an issue where it said it was successful and nothing happened. Essentially, you could also do both of them with the USB key, but from my understanding, um, uh, you know, the bootloader first has to be on there before you can upgrade it, and to get it on there, you have to use the cable. So, to make it easy, I did the, the bootloader over the USB cord like you just saw. Bootloader's done. Now I'm going to do the firmware with the key. So, essentially, the bootloader is going to stay there, and I shouldn't need to update that much, but I can constantly update the firmware with just a key with the USB drive here. Now, this one's a little bit different. I'm going to hold the band minus and the power, and I'm going to let go of the power, but keep holding the band minus. And it'll show you on the screen. Hold band minus and power. Let go of power. Oh, you can't be plugged into the computer. That's right. You gotta be unplugged from the computer. Band minus power. Let go of power when you see the screen. And keep holding band. Now you can let go. USB drive detected. Firmware will be updated. It saved the old firmware, and now it just uploaded the new firmware. Finished. Remove drive or press band negative or band down to reboot. So press power to switch off. I'm going to hit power. Now I'm going to remove the stick, and I'm going to turn it back on. There it is. Version 2.5.71 is what I just downloaded. And um, it saves the settings. It just updated the firmware. It fixes some bugs. Uh, from what I understand, there's, they're working on uh, decoding RIDI and PSK on the screen. Hopefully the, the host, the USB host port, will uh, adapt to my fold-up keyboard. You might have seen on the video for this PSK modem I did, where I can do PSK right from the front of this unit without a computer. That would be uh, epic. So that is your firmware and bootloader upgrade procedure. You need your USB cable. You need your USB stick. It is doing it on Windows 10. So if you're having an issue with Windows 10, getting the STM or SMT device to acknowledge in your device manager, uh, troubleshoot that on your own end, but yes, it is working on Windows 10. You just saw it. Uh, the software and everything is available in the description down below. And uh, more videos on the way. So thanks for watching and 7.3 from KJ4YZI.